What is rate of reaction? Rate of reaction measures the speed at which the reactants are converted to the products in a chemical reaction. For the reaction that occur rapidly or faster, the rate of reaction is high. Conversely, for a reaction that occurs slowly, the rate of reaction is low. The time taken for a fast reaction is short where the time taken for a slow reaction is long. The rate of a particular reaction is inversely proportional to the time taken for the reaction. Different chemical reactions occur at different rates. When a reaction occurs, two obvious changes that occur are the quantity of a reactant decreases with time and the quantity of a product increases with time. The quantity of a reactant or product can be the number of moles of a substance, mass of a solid, volume of a gas, and concentration of a solution. If the changes of any of these quantities are visible and measurable during a reaction, then it can be used to measure the rate of that reaction. Suitable measurable visible changes in a chemical reaction Volume of a gas liberated Formation of a precipitate Changes in the mass during a reaction Color changes Changes in the electrical conductivity of the solution Temperature changes Pressure changes Changes in concentration of the solution of a reactant and pH changes. Rate of reaction is defined as the change in a selected quantity during a reaction per unit time whereby the selected quantity can be any of the measurable visible changes in the reaction. The rate of reaction can be measured in two ways. Number one, average rate of reaction and number two, rate of reaction at a given time. The average rate of reaction is the average value of the rate of reaction within a specified period of time. The average rate of reaction does not show the actual rate of reaction at a particular instant. Only the rate of reaction at a given time can be used to reflect the actual rate at that instant. The rate of reaction at a given time is the actual rate of reaction at that instant. The rate of reaction at a given time is also known as the instantaneous rate of reaction. The rate of a chemical reaction can be altered by changing the reacting condition. There are five factors that affect the rate of reaction. Number one, total surface area of a solid rectum or particle size of a solid rectum. Number two, concentration of a rectum in solution. Number three, temperature of a reaction. Number four, use of catalyst. And number five, pressure for a reaction involving gaseous reactants. When the particle size of a fixed mass of a solid reactant becomes smaller, the total surface area exposed becomes larger. The rate of reaction increases. When investigating experimental the effect of particle size or surface area on the rate of reaction, the experiment is carried out twice. The particle size or surface area of a solid return used in the two experiments are varied. All the other factors or conditions are kept constant in both the experiments. When the concentration of a return increases, the rate of reaction also increases. When investigating experimental the effect of concentration on the rate of reaction, the experiment is repeated a few times, each time using a different concentration of a reactant. All the other factors or conditions are kept constant in all the experiments. When the temperature increases, the rate of reaction also increases. 
When investigating experimental the effect of temperature on the rate of reaction, the experiment is repeated a few times, each time using a different temperature of a rectum. All the other factors or conditions are kept constant in all the experiments. A catalyst is a substance which can alter the rate of a chemical reaction while itself remains chemically unchanged at the end of the reaction. Catalysts can be classified into positive catalysts and negative catalysts, or we call inhibitors. A positive catalyst is a catalyst that increases the rate of reaction. A negative catalyst is a catalyst that decreases the rate of a reaction. A catalyst does not change the quantity of the product's form. It only alters the rate of the reaction. For reactions with rectum in the form of solid, liquid and aqueous solution, the rate of the reaction does not depend on the pressure. Only for those reactions that involve gaseous rectums, the rate of the reactions will increase when the pressure increases or vice versa. Solving numerical problems using example about the calculation of the average rate of reaction and instantaneous rate of reaction. Refer the results in the table from a chemical reaction which release oxygen gas. Steps to plot a graph. First, write the title of the graph. Number two, draw vertical line for axis Y and horizontal line for axis X along the graph paper. Number three, write the biggest volume of oxygen gas at the top of the axis Y and write the biggest value for time at the end of axis X and then do the division calculation to produce uniform scale at both axis Y and axis X. Number four, label the information at axis Y and axis X with its correct unit. Number five, transfer data from tables into graph paper using symbol, black dots, or cross. Number six, draw smooth line to connect all the points. The graph obtained must have title. The axis Y and axis X must label with correct units. The scale at axis Y and axis X must uniform. All points transfer correctly. The line must smooth connect all the points. And the last one, the size of the graph more than 50% graph paper. Question B1, B2 and B3. Calculate the average rate of reaction. Question C1 and C2. Calculate the instantaneous rate of reaction. How to draw the tangent line to calculate the gradient of the curve at 20 seconds? Draw tangent line AB, the distance from black dot to point A equal to the distance between black dot to point B. Instantaneous rate of reaction at 20 seconds equal to gradient of the curve at 20 seconds. Draw the tangent line to calculate the gradient of the curve at 80 seconds. The distance from black dot to point D must equal with the distance from black dot to point E. The instantaneous rate of reaction at 80 second equal to gradient of the curve at 80 second. In this reaction, the rate of reaction at 20 second is higher than the rate of reaction at 80 second. This is because the gradient at 20 second is steeper than the gradient at 80 second. Application of the factors affecting the rate of reaction in daily life. 
knowledge of the factors affecting the rate of reaction can be applied to control the rates of many reactions that occur in our daily life. This can be done by either speeding up or slowing down the reaction to suit our needs. Table shows the few examples of applying the factors affecting the rate of reaction to control the rates of a few reactions in our daily life. Application of the factors affecting the rate of reaction in industrial processes. Knowledge of the factors affecting the rate of reaction is applied in choosing the optimum conditions to run an industrial process to achieve one shorter time of production, two higher yield, three lower cost of production. It is very costly to run an industrial process at a very high temperature and pressure. Catalysts are generally used to increase the rate of these processes. The catalysts used enable the processes to be run in a shorter time at an optimum temperature and pressure to reduce the cost of production.